The next technique we'll be demonstrating is with the rag roller. To do this technique, you'll want to apply a base coat of a satin finished paint on your wall, allow it to dry, then we'll be following up by applying glaze to the surface and rolling with the rag roller. The most effective way to get professional looking results with this is to have two people do it. For this situation, I'm going to have my friend Julie come and she's going to go ahead and roll on the glaze onto the surface and I'll follow up with the rag roller. Ready to do some painting? I am. Great. Julie's applying her glaze to the surface using a roller and notice how evenly she's applying it. It's pretty consistent. She's going to do a few rows on the surface so that she doesn't get too far ahead of me. That way the glaze will stay wet and not create an overlap line on the surface. So that's probably about the best amount of space to stay ahead of the person doing the decorative painting. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up with the rag roller. Now what I like to do before I begin is fluff it up so I've got nice folds going all the way around. Then I'm going to go ahead and take it to the surface and just begin by rolling through like so. You can create an X pattern or a V pattern just rolling back and forth. Now when you first make your impression on the wall, you'll get a really crisp look, a very defined rag painting look. Now this may be the look that you're after. If you're looking for a more subtle look, you can roll it more to create a more mottled or muted rag painting effect. Now from there, if you'll notice that Julie left a little bit of the wall, she only went a little bit ahead of where I'm going. Now as I'm doing my rolling, she's going to go ahead and continue to apply the glaze ahead of me. That way we'll follow up and get professional looking results. Continuing on to rag. Now a common question that people have is won't the rag roller become saturated with glaze on the surface as you're working down the wall? And it will to a certain extent. It won't become overly saturated, but there will be a point in time where you want to download some of the glaze. The best way to do that is to take it to a cotton rag or paper towels, preferably a cotton rag that is lint free, and you're going to go ahead and download some of that glaze. You're not completely removing all of the glaze, but just an ample amount. Then you continue back on the wall. So that is our fabulous rag painting look. I think it's a really beautiful look and again, another fast, easy and fun faux finish. Thanks for watching.